Um, look, first, I think it's very important to note that this is an incredibly volatile time in the Middle East. Um, I would argue that we have not seen a situation as as dangerous as the one we're facing now across the region since at least 1973, and arguably uh, even uh, even before that. Uh, and that is the uh, environment in which we're operating. And of course, that was triggered by the horrific attacks of October 7th by Hamas against innocent men, women, and children. We've made very, very clear from day one that we're going to defend our people, we're going to defend our personnel, uh, we're going to defend our interests. And that's exactly uh, what we've done. We've taken action, and significant action, to deter groups, uh, to degrade their capabilities in Iraq, in Syria, in Yemen. At the same time, the President's been very clear that we want to prevent broader escalation. We want to prevent this conflict from spreading. So we are intent on doing both, that is, standing up uh, for our people when they're attacked, uh, while at the same time working every single day to prevent the conflict from growing uh, and, and spreading. Uh, and that's exactly what we'll continue to do. It's fundamentally what's in the interest of the United States, uh, what's in the interest of uh, the region, and I think what's in the interest of the world. Um, but I, the President said this, I think, virtually from, from day one, to anyone who would try to use the crisis in the Middle East, the conflict in the Middle East, uh, to sow further instability and to use it as an uh, excuse to attack our personnel, uh, we will respond. We will respond strongly. We will respond at a time uh, and place of our choosing. And obviously, I'm not going to telegraph what, uh, <clears throat> what we might do in this instance or get ahead of the President, but I can, again, tell you that, as the President said yesterday, uh, we will respond. Uh, and that response could be multi-leveled, come in stages, and be sustained over time.